Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Jason Den and this is part 2 of the highly anticipated Elasticsearch tutorial series. We'll talk about what the heck an index is as well as getting our hands dirty with some crud operations with Kibana. If you stumble upon this video and haven't checked out part 1 where I gave a super high level overview of Elasticsearch and covered the installation set of Elasticsearch then I suggest you click the link in the top corner or you should be able to find it in the video description below. If you're new to this channel or haven't subscribed, please show some love and hit the subscribe button below. To begin, I think it would be important for you guys to understand the core concept of an index in Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a NoSQL document data store. What that means in a nutshell is that we're concerned with the storage, retrieval, and updates of JSON objects. To give an analogy of what an index is, let's take a relational database example. Let's say we're using a relational database such as MySQL or Postgres. Imagine that we have an employee's database with columns or fields, name, address, and age. Okay, pretty standard. Similarly, in Elasticsearch, you can have an index called employees where the documents are essentially the rows within the employee's database. Each document would have fields ID, name, address, and age. In other words, an index is just a grouping of related documents. And just like how you can have a shit ton of databases, you can have practically unlimited indices in your Elasticsearch cluster. If you don't already know, CRUD is an acronym for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Here is the general scheme for Elasticsearch CRUD operations. I was going to read this thing out and explain them line by line, but we ain't got time for all that, so let's dive right into it. Imagine we are building an index of movies. Each movie is going to have the attributes title, year, and genre. Let's go ahead and index a movie called The Last Indexer. It's going to be a put request where the index is movies. The title is The Last Indexer, the year is 2019, and the genres are action, thriller, and comedy. Notice that we didn't have to initialize or create the index before indexing the movie document. And that is because Elasticsearch will automatically create the index for you if it doesn't already exist. We can check that the index has been created by issuing a GET request to underscore cat slash indices and we see that the index has been created. We can get a list of 10 latest documents indexed in our movies index by doing a GET request to the underscore search path within the movies index namespace, like so. Furthermore, we can retrieve that document by ID by issuing a GET request to the ID path, like so. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Hey Jason, what if I accidentally create a document that already exists? Will Elasticsearch overwrite that document and I could potentially lose all my data? Whoever you are, you have a great noggin on those shoulders. Yes, if you try to create a document by doing a put request to that endpoint, Elasticsearch will overwrite the original document. But you can essentially just target the underscore create path if you want Elasticsearch to bail if that document ID already exists. Doing an update to our recent document is straightforward. Just do a post to underscore update path with that ID. Make sure you specify the doc as the root property will return to the old title. It's called the last indexer hyphen updated. Last but not least, you can delete the document by doing a delete to that ID endpoint. If you want to delete the movies index, just do a delete to that index endpoint. Alrighty you beautiful people. That about wraps up part 2 of the Elasticsearch tutorial series. I hope you got the gist of doing CRUD operations in Elasticsearch now. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you can get notified when part 3 comes out. Who knows, maybe it'll come out faster if I get a shit ton of more subscribers.
Peace.